Okay, we're at the Catherine Miller resi uh, residence, and I'm looking at a ream furnace, about two and a half ton, three ton drive, uh, three quarter inch drain line going into the plumbing of the wall and down. Um, we, it's hard to see this. I don't know if I can get some light on it or not. Um, try to bring the light out on it. Can't really get any light back there. On oh, just a moment. Try to get some light on the subject. Okay, so right here, you've got about an 18 inch flex coming off of this metal, uh, off of the little plenum base that's on the furnace. Actually right outside, the, uh, right off the back of the furnace there to the left. So anyway, that's your return. Um, everything spiders off of the top of this ductwork going throughout the whole entire attic. As you can see there, um, there's the top of your supply. Um, very kind of close quarters right here to get a good picture of everything. But flex coming even out of the the coal box back here, another supply. And your flue going right straight up and out the top of the roof. So your normal spider throw in the furnace type install. I did put a drain pan on there, which is surprising. And your refrigerant lines are going all out toward the end of the home, way back in there, all the way to that far wall right there. And um, this is what you look like on your Miller video. Not really showing you that much. Uh, gas line coming in going into the gas valve right there is three quarter inch line. So this is your typical um, attic install and you've got your uh, your pull down. Let me get over here. You got your little pull down right here that you're going to fit the furnace through. You'll see the measurements accordingly in my paperwork. Thank you.